Overtake is a fantastic anime. If you're into racing, and more specifically Formula 1, I think you'll enjoy this. Same thing if you're also into photojournalism or photography in general, it's also for you. This anime feels like it was created in a lab just for me, an F1 fan who's also into photography. Even if you're not into these two things in particular, I still think you should give it a shot, because it's just a good show all around. I want you to watch this show, so there will be no spoilers besides talking about what happens in episode 1. To start off, this is an original anime, so this is the only way to experience this story. It was produced by Kadokawa and animated by Studio Troika, coming out at the end of 2023. It's also only one season of 12 episodes, and it tells the story it wants to, something that doesn't happen with most anime, or most media nowadays. In a time where there is always a sequel and things just never end, it's great to see a story that feels complete after one season and it just ends. Now, don't get me wrong, I would love to have more content from this story, I would love a season 2, but I'm also happy if this is all there is to it, because there's closure and the story feels complete after the last episode. Now for the story, we follow Koya Madoka, a photojournalist who suffers with PTSD from an event that happened many years ago. This PTSD prevents him from taking photos of people, and because of that, he ends up getting a job where he goes to a GT race in Fuji, where he meets all the characters that we are going to know throughout the season. It's there he discovers F4 and meets the other main character of the show, a young racing driver called Haruka Azaina, on his second season in F4. Madoka ends up falling in love with F4 and racing in general after watching the way Azaina races, Asahina ends up retiring from the race with a flat tire, and once he's back in the garage, he ends up storming off to be alone, where Madoka finds him crying and takes a picture, the first picture he took of a person in a decade. That's the first episode and that's as far as I'm going, because I want you to watch it for yourself. Madoka's situation is very interesting and discovering more about exactly what happened keeps you engaged in the story, with the episodes dedicated to this being some of the best ones in the anime. Asahina lost both his parents when he was a very young child, living with Futoshi Komakin, a friend of his dad, and his son, Kotaru. Inspired by his dad and sharing the same love for racing, he entered F4 with the help of Komaki, since Komaki is a car mechanic and had experience working in the sport, with Kotaru also being a mechanic, just like his dad. There's two important characters we also meet in episode 1 and are developed throughout the season, Satsuki Arunaga and Toshiki Tokumaru, the drivers who race for the strongest team on the grid, Balsorizo. Madoka actually knows the honor of Belsorizo from previous work he did, and Komaki also knows him, but that's as far as I'll say about these connections. This anime is very newbie friendly, explaining basic racing concepts for people who are not familiar with them, alongside some technical terms and racing lingo. We also get quite a few F1 references, so as homework I recommend watching Rush, one of the best racing movies of all time before watching this anime. It's amazing, all these facilities and you make a piece of crap like this. Uh. Besides that, they animate the tracks accurately, and I can vouch for Suzuka at the very least, having watched enough races and played enough F1 games to recognize that track anywhere I see it. The racing animation might catch you off guard, but I ended up enjoying it more and more throughout the season, I think it just kept getting better and better. The entire show just gets better and better episode after episode. I went into this anime with high expectations, knowing it talked about racing. After a couple of episodes I thought it was good, but not as good as I expected it to be initially. But from episode 4 onwards, and the entire second half of the season, it was just fantastic. It truly doesn't matter if you like racing or not, it's just an incredible piece of media. I know it's probably not for everyone, and it almost feels like it was made for someone like me, but I still feel like anyone can enjoy the story they told and how they presented it. It's truly a beautiful anime, and I just want more people to see it and like it, even if they don't like it as much as I did. It genuinely exceeded my expectations by the end. Anyway, that's about it. See you.